If I told you something was spinning atop Adobe System Headquarters, you might think of this. The San Jose Semaphore has been turning out its coded message since 2006. But no, we're talking about these. 20 brand new wind turbines, or Windspire Vertical Axis wind turbines, as the manufacturer calls them. The installation is just about done, and the turbines go online later this month, delivering green energy to what is perhaps already one of the greenest office complexes in the world. This line is the data center usage, if you will. It's it is certainly one of the most sophisticated. Randy Knox is Adobe's senior director for Global Workplace Solutions. Adobe, he says, is always looking for ways to stay cutting edge with energy technology. Solar didn't quite work with their downtown space, but a windy sixth floor courtyard was an opportunity for wind power. Just not the style of wind turbine you see turning on the Altamont Pass. Uh, a little obtrusive, I think, for the particular area that we're in. No, the Windspire was a better fit, both for aesthetics and for safety. One of the concerns here was birds, because we do have the peregrine falcons in the area, and these are supposed to be very bird friendly. The 20 Windspires will put out enough electricity to power 10 average size homes. We should add, though, that's barely a drop in the bucket for one giant sized software company. With that in mind, the folks at Adobe admit that wind turbines are more symbolic than practical. They're taking the symbolism even a step forward, saying the power generated will be used to run the semaphore on the roof of the building and power electric cars in the basement. A top to bottom approach, you might say, to renewable energy from a company looking to turn a problem into something positive. In San Jose, Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News.